So here I am at Hunter Aerospace. Here to uh, have a look at my new avionics for the 172. Feeling my hot little hand for the first time. Just here in Michael's office. Gee, he's got some, some flash pictures. Look at that. There's our chieftain. The reflection of the Commodore in the background. But over here is a pile of bits. The back end of the rack, the wiring loom. Look at that. There's a map. Don't know what any of it means, but it's something to do with the avionics install. Ooh, and look at this. There's an update for you. Got convinced to put two 275s in there as well, just to uh, make the install nice and professional. Oh, look at all these bits. Look at that. I don't even know what it is, but it looks fancy. Very excited. I oh, know. Let's go and get the actual units themselves. Private staff only. And we don't want any extroverted staff around here. Down here, deep in the depths of the Hunter Aerospace basement, some boxes. Look at this. Whoa. One with my name on it. It's actually a couple with my name on it. It's very exciting. Let's get them out and have a look. This is very exciting. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, comes with us. Very own. Manual bag, I assume. This is the unit itself. 650. Whoa. So shiny and new smelling. Shame this isn't a smell of phone. You'll be able to smell the nice new plastic wrapping smell. I'm actually too scared to open it. Very, very excited. Right now, I got brave and pulled it out. Have a look at that, very shiny. Uh, that's where the data card goes, or the, uh, the Wi-Fi card if you have the Connects card. And obviously it's got plastic screen and stuff on it. It's um, very shiny, oh, very impressive. It's going to uh, make quite a change to the 1980-172. So on top of the 650, which is the GPS in the new stack, is gonna be the GMA345 selector panel. Um, it's got powerage for iPads and, other, and the like. And it's also got Bluetooth, so you can talk on your telephone if your headset didn't already do it. So very fancy bit of gear. And I like how it's still laid out, much like uh, many of the older selector panels so that it's uh, fairly obvious how to use it. Also has playback as well, I believe, which is uh, plays the last, uh, stand corrected possibly, but um, 30, 60 seconds of audio. So if you miss a radio call or you made a radio call you really liked, you can uh, relive it over and over. And then below the 650 is the 225 flip flop com, um, and I believe that's got the intercom tied in with it as well. That'll be an avionics person question, but I think that uh, gets rid of having a standalone intercom. And then uh, below that will be the existing transponder, which is just about brand new anyway. So the exciting update from last time to the plan is the addition of two GI 275s that we're gonna put in. Um, here's two that uh, Cobb put into Dan's plane uh, not long back, and these are gonna be the same units. So they'll talk to the talk to the 650 that NCO will have. That's a 750, which is very similar, but the bigger screen. Uh, and so you've got your, uh, your AH there, but also got the airspeed altitude readout and then also we'll have the uh, have the HSI and or the CDI down there and you can click across you have HSI map which once you get a GPS position also uh, will give you a map type view of a HSI or a DI sorry and you can also get the uh, synthetic vision on the AH so then we can see all the hills and that sort of thing so to an H there. Very fancy units, so I uh, finally gave in and agreed to do them as part of the install because it uh, makes sense to do it all properly and it will just tidy it up and make it a make it a, a uh, well-rounded install. So very excited, looking forward to the new panel. I uh, greatly appreciate the assistance of Hunter Aerospace, and Mick and Cobb, the amount of work they've already put into it with the new looms, new racks, that sort of thing. Uh, hopefully in the next video we'll get on to pulling the old panel out which will be very exciting, some good visual progress, and uh, not long after, putting a new one in with all the new gear. 
So uh, I hope to see you in the next video and uh, looking forward to it.